Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, April 25th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. In a blog post, Trend Micro is reporting that it found a new version of Android malware that it calls Milky Door. Now, Milky Door appears to be a more modern version of what used to be known as Threscode, according to Trend Micro's nomenclature. But what these two pieces of malware have in common is that they use the Android device as a proxy. So this way, Android device that's, for example, connected to a corporate Wi-Fi network may be used to infiltrate that network from the outside. In order to build the back doors that are being used by this malware, Milky Door does use the SH protocol. SH, of course, isn't so far attractive that it's built into Android. It's also encrypted, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to investigate what's actually happening. And well, uh, some firewalls do let port 22 SH traffic pass. Trend Micro did not post any packet captures as far as I can tell, but I would expect that the malware is using the standard Android SH client and so far you wouldn't be able to tell apart a connection established by the Trojan from a connection established by a normal user. Another thing to look for that doesn't just apply to this particular piece of malware is always lookups for GeoIP location services. A lot of malware is using that to get more information about the victim. And typically you don't have a lot of users that use these services in your network. Well, and if you're using the popular open source webmail package Squirrel Mail, I would have told you that it is time to patch and urgently time to patch but sadly I can't because there is no patch available for a remote code execution vulnerability that was disclosed last Wednesday actually with sufficient detail to easily reproduce and create the exploit. I was just looking at the Squirrel Mail website and the last announcement here was from 2013 so about four years ago also the last plugin edition was in March of 2014, so three years ago. Maybe Squirrel Mail has been abandoned, not really sure, but if you're still using it, be careful and consider moving to a different platform. And software company Atlassian did advise its customers to update Confluence. Confluence is often used for bug tracking and the like, and of course, some of the bugs reported to software may have security impact. With this particular bug, it is possible to view documents as an unauthenticated user that an unauthenticated user should not have access to. Atlassian also notified customers of its HipChat product that apparently there was an attack, a possible breach of its hosted infrastructure, and it advised all users to update their passwords. And with the discovery of the double pulsar backdoor code that implemented a backdoor over SMB a couple of weeks ago, SMB covered channels are of course on everybody's mind. There's now a new tool, Flatpipes. Flatpipes implements a generic TCP proxy over named pipes or with that SMB. So in this case, the traffic would travel over port 445. Overall, the intended functionality is similar to what I mentioned earlier with SH, where we can tunnel TCP traffic over SH. We could do the same with flat pipes over port 445 and SMB. At this point, I think the code looks a little bit more like a beta status. There are still a couple of things that you cannot do. It can only support one connection, cannot support multiple connections, but uh, still useful enough to launch a interpreter shell on the remote system and then tunnel the traffic over port 445. Also, if you haven't yet, uh, make sure you finally block port 445, not just inbound, but also 
outbound out of your network, I don't think there is a good reason to keep that port exposed. Well, this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.